click on the start and type store select microsoft store in the search type the name of the game you want to buy and download and then you can select it from the results bear in mind the same game could have different versions for example we got age of mythology standard edition and premium edition so select the version you want read the description screenshots and make sure it's a game that you want so you could buy this game for around 23 pounds so simply click on buy for then you will need to select your microsoft account and then click on continue you might have to enter your windows pin and then click on ok if you have already got a credit card you could use that or you could add a new payment method by clicking on change and then select add a new payment method you could select between credit or debit card e-wallet phone number i select a credit card enter your credit card details and then click on save so that credit card would be selected and now all you got to do is to click on buy it might take a few seconds for it to do the transaction and then it says you're almost ready to play so click on download this game is around 22 gbs so it might take some time for it to finish downloading after the initial setup is downloaded click on install this is where it would take some time to finish installing so my computer slept and after I logged in again, it still shows install. So when I click on install, it asks me to click on install again. And this time it quickly finished installing because it had already finished installing and downloading before. And now you can click on open. Then once again, it would ask you to select your email id and then click on continue then it will log you in into xbox and would ask you a few privacy and setup questions and finally the game is launching but before then you would need to allow a few apps that your windows firewall might be blocking it's a bit weird that the publisher is unknown even though this game is from microsoft nevertheless i know it's from the game that i trust so i clicked on allow now the game goes into to the full screen do the initial usual setup code of conduct and now finally we can play